Hey, we live. We lit. We in the building. We live. We lit. Let me get everything set up, man. Give us a minute. We're going to get time for people to get in the building. Bro. Uh, we're kicking it on Big Mama's porch. Hey, give me a second. Get everything set up, man. Uh, About to do a little meal work. Keep in mind, meal work is dangerous for the beginning alchemists. All right. Let me get everything set up, man. Give me a second. I'm about to get the brother Rod hangs in the building. Just a second. Hey, about to talk about that mirror flip, man. Get up in the building, man. You're in the building with Young Ill and the brother Rod Haynes, man. Once again. Won't let me put that mirror flip. I might have to do it after the show. Hey, give us a second, man. We getting set up by talking about that mirror flip. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me tell. Let me tell the brother we lied. Hey, we in the building, man. We live. Man, we ain't even started recording yet, and they already flagged on this shape. All right, boom, we got that. I think we live right now. We in the building. Hey, Rob Bob, brother. We in the building. Big Mama's porch, man. The hey, the mirror flip. The mirror work, baby. You know, in Alchemist, uh, as Alchemist. Some of us refer to the mirror as the back door, the back door. And I noticed on, uh, you know, Constantine, Constantine used uh, the mirror to trap the bad spirits. Uh, in, in that, on the movie Constantine, you ever seen that movie, uh, Rod? Uh, with um, um, John Travolta. No, the one with that dude that play in, uh, that played the uh, Neo in the Matrix. I forget his name. Oh yeah, uh, you talking about uh, uh, um, yeah, I know you talking about. Can get this? Y'all know Reed. Y'all know Reed. But this is his name. Yeah, uh, yeah, he like uh, so the mirrors, man, because uh, that's what we want you to break down. Then you could go into whatever Look, else you want to go. We, we we gonna get into the mirrors in a minute. I gotta okay. give a big go mama ahead. message first. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. So, big mama want the elder women. 
to link up in their respective areas, right? And when they link up, they're going to know who to pick out of that group to speak for them. So the big mamas on the land, Dr. G told me that the women are ready. She's talking about the big mamas, right? So they all see what's going on now, and they starting to get an alignment to reclaim the land. So um, the uh, contacts in our community, we're going to link up using the Nation of Islam's MGTGCC for the elder women. Mm -hmm. They don't mean that you have to become a member. This ain't about that. This is about them letting, uh, letting them know that the tribes is linked across the land. That's all it's about. And we needed a structure that was in all of our communities where when they get together, we can all say, we ready in this city, right? We ready in this city and we ready in this until we get all of them on board. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's a nation of Islam in almost every one of our communities. Right. But before you go to them, the families got to get together. Let's say it's a family that got a 90 year old elder woman. Mm -hmm. She they big mama. And she and it's her voice that's going to get that family they shit. Right, so the big mamas have to come together in um, each city, and then they got to start picking one from them as the spokesperson. So we ready? They are ready, right? So everybody start listening to these old ladies because big mama finna speak through them, right? So. That's the message when we go into this mirror, um, the mirror thing, I'm gonna try to explain to you all how it worked, but it, it's not easy to explain because it's one of them things that you really don't get it until you doing it. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got different types of mirror work, right? One of them we like to call shadow work, right? So. Um, the 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 mental picture you painting to understand what we're talking about mirror work and shadow work and using the mirror to do the shadow work. Pick the worst person that you could think of. Put them in front of you. This your mirror. Everything that make them horrible. See if you do that. Do you reflect that horrible shit they do? And the more of the things that you discover that you actually do, this is where the shadow work part come in because you have to resolve that matter. What it is that the horrible person do that you do, then you have to work on yourself to not do that. That's what they call conquering the ego because the ego is what hold on to the negative traits. Right? So, um, the, the the another way of doing mirror work is reflecting back on your life. Anytime you hear the term reflect, you're using a mirror. Right? When you hear the word recollect, you're using a mirror. Some mirrors is visual, some is audio. If it's audio, then you recall. Right? How do you recall? That don't even make sense. That's an oxymoron. You call something and then you call it back. Right? So that's telling you that it's a reflective ideology attached to the, um, the call. The reflective ideology say that you already been called. If you being recalled, that means that you called twice. So the mirror is the first and the last call. One reflect the other, right? Now, most people don't think there's a correlation 
with the stars, the six and the five. But the correlation is called the dozens. We finna play the dozens. Remember that game? Mm -hmm. Ain't that how we used to give each other nicknames, playing the dozen? Remember that? <laughs> so when is when is the six and the five equal? Is when they both are half a dozen. How is that possible? Can you tell me? Come on, young girl, to speak up, brother. Can you tell me the? Hey, how hey I don't know, man. Look, hey, hey, uh, like I'm saying, I'm I'm sitting here sucking it up, man, because uh, you you going to some heavy shit, man. This is this is high power alchemy, man. This is high power alchemy. I know a little bit about the mirrors, but I, don't really, I really don't do the mirrors because it's really dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the in the mirror, so you got six in one hand, half a dozen in the other is the five. How is that possible? How is it possible for five to be a half a dozen? That's a good question, man. I don't want to. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to. Uh, see if somebody in guessing, the comments man. figured it out yet. Look at the comments. See if somebody figured it out yet. Hey, they they say uh, somebody says six plus five is eleven. That's two. Uh, hey, anybody in the comments? One and one reflects. One, one reflects one. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, while, while we in the building, man, I'm going to post the brother, uh, the brother Rod Hain, don't do it for money, but uh, we're going to start with us love. I'm posting this uh, cash app in the links, so you can send him some donations if you want to do it, bro. Uh, but uh, anybody got any uh, breakdown on uh, how to five become a half a dozen? You add the one. That's what I say. Add the one, man. Where you get the one from? The one is the is, is the fist that you got it balled up in, and the hand that you got the, the hand count contemplates the one. And well, then, then, that, then that make it uneven with the six on the other hand. Okay, all right, break that down for me, man. Because so got to it got to stay even. I'm trying to get the people in the audience a chance to answer. Yeah, okay, all right. Five is a reflection of itself. Five is a reflection of itself. Add another. Flip the six. Five equals one. Look, do this. Hold on, okay. do this. Pull your okay. pull your Google screen up. Okay. Let's see, share screen. Oh yeah, this right here about to get good right here, man. I can feel it. All right, Bob, uh, I'm going to Google. This about to get heavy. Type B A C. Okay, go ahead. Get, get on Google first. All right. Hey, for all my high power alchemists in the building, man, that brother Rob Haynes is a high power alchemist, man. That mirror work's gotta be a high, high level alchemist, man. Work that mirror, man. Oh, look. Okay, what we what, try type in B? Baker. Baker. Come on, come on. Dang it. All right, there you go. Hold up. Dozen. All right, Baker does it. I want you to do this because they say I don't be having no receipts. So since we're doing this, this is going to be the receipt. I'm balancing the five and the six star nations out. My mama said it's six in one hand, a half a dozen in the other. But one is a six and one is a five. So when is a five, a half a dozen? How many in the baker's dozen? 13. No, it's supposed to be 10. Oh, I says what? Why is a baker's dozen 13? Okay, uh, let's see. That's not that's not a baker's dozen, but go ahead. We're gonna see what it say. You wanna pull that up? All right. Why is a baker's dozen 13? Yeah, that's a good one right there, because I ain't never heard of baker's dozen being 13 before. You want me to type in why the baker's dozen is 10? See if we get a better deal. Yep. All right, hold on. Let me try to. All right. Why is a baker's dozen ten? All right, it says the item baker's dozen goes all 
the way back to medieval England, where bakers were making 13 instead of standard 12 loaves of bread to avoid jail time. Damn. Uh, I don't got nothing on the team. Wait, what you got on me? Yeah, this, this, this is a Mandela effect here. Because the baker dozens is predicated up on the number of fingers on your hand. Yeah. Okay. And a half a baker's dozen is five. Okay. Right? So when mm -hmm. a half a dozen is um uh in one hand is six, it's a standard dozen of twelve. Right. But in this case, they switch. So this is the Mandela effect in order to flip a mandala effect. This is also mirror flipping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the six, if, if it's a baker dozen at 13, it would be the flipping the six and the seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So then seven would never be a half a dozen, nor would the six be if baker's dozen was 13. That's right. But 13 is big mama number. Right, so uh, this is amazing to me because um, Baker's dozen always been ten, as far as I knew. Mm -hmm. And a half of Baker's dozen is five, and when six in one hand, a half a dozen in the other. And so, hey, what's the breakdown on that? Like, okay, so how do you make the five into a six? Flip it up. You close the uh, open loop. Okay. You close the open loop, five becomes a six. Okay, all uh, right. This shit right here is like some high level, high power shit, man. When you I flip like a five is. upside down, it becomes a two. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And the two upside down is a five. You close the loop on the five, you got a six. Okay, you got something right here on that 10. Let me pull it up. Let's see what they say. Let's stay right here now. It's 10 to 10. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know why this damn internet running so damn slow. All right, like it's does a 10. Dispute it. Don't dispute it. That's uh, a book. It look yeah. like a novel. It look like a children's novel. Yeah, children's book. Yeah, where I go, they say it is 13. Receive. Uh, Quits a dozen eggs from a farm and a dozen steaks from a butcher. Or a dozen pencils from a traveler, officer, supply, salesman. And you will also certainly receive twelve or your cho chosen items. But the baker doesn't, it's commonly understood at meaning 13. So, and hey, why are they saying that again? Why are they saying uh, the 13? This looks like a Mandela effect to me. Yeah. Because <clears throat> ever since I was in, um, in home economics, the baker doesn't was 10. Now it's 13. Right? Mm hmm. And what month is 10? October, right? Mm -hmm. But October is really eight because Octo mean eight. That's right. That's right. Right. So if the Oct if October is the is the tenth month, mm -hmm. then the ten and the eight is eighteen. Eight one and eight is nine, which takes us back to September. Okay. All right, so this is taking us on a a, a turnaround. Turn so the Mandela effect is the Bandala effect. Mm -hmm. So we raising Big Mama House from ten to thirteen. Okay. okay. Which ten? Ten is ten toes down, ten fingers mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Right. 13 is uh, is the unlucky number, but who is it unlucky for? Right. But 
13 is the center of the zodiac, the center seat. Mm -hmm. Right, we call it Big Mama Seat. So if you put in a uh, search engine, Ty Earth. And what? Yeah, Ty Earth. T A space U R T. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, now so that's Big Mama. Right? Yeah. Big Mama represented as the hippopotamus with the mammary glands. You see it? Now, put Zodiac behind it now. All right. All right. Fifth from the left at the top, you see that? Right there, click that. Click it again, make it big. I want to save it a little. Oh yeah, this about to get, this about to get deep. Hey, Rob, I see everybody in the building, man. We live with the Rob James, man. We working these mirrors, but hold up, let me save it. So I can pull it Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, boom. All right, I'm gonna blow it up for you. All right, uh, the book, the book. Come on. All right, hold on just a second. Damn, man. Don't panic, it's all right. <laughs> oh yeah, it's all good. Uh, hold on, let me do it again. Then maybe then take save. All right. Let's save it on this regular desktop. Boom. All right. Boom. All right. There you go, right there. Let me blow it up. All right. Let me blow it up for you. Can you see it? Yeah. Do you see Big Mama in there? Yeah. In the center. Yeah. Zoom in on it so they can see where she at. This is the called the 13th seat of the Zodiac. Big Mama house in the middle. See it? Mm-hmm. And she got a butcher knife in her hand, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's the 13th seat. Mm-hmm. All right, now, in order to get to Big Mama House, you had to go through something called the Primordial Noon in your end. Pull it up. All right, I got you. And you in? Put Primordial in front of it. Okay, all right. But you see what came up, the nuns, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. That, as above, so below. Now watch this. Yeah, I might get some better goddamn internet. This shit right here. It look like you need to do a defrag on your computer. Yeah, I try to do it today, uh, but it's still doing the same thing. I did most of it, man, but it's still doing the same damn thing. It's still pulling up the nuns. Go to the uh, show all. Go to the all where it show everything. Uh, hold on, that, that, it, hold on. I think it was spilled wrong. All right. Oh. Uh, uh, Oh, look, I gotta put Mordial. It's one word, primordial, one word. Okay, all right. Man, this shit doing some funky shit. Uh, I think I got it now. There you go. 
All right, you, let me go to the pictures. Uh, uh, what that say at the top? My money award. Take uh, hold on, let me take the award. Out. You, you can leave water there because that's what it okay. is. Okay, all right. Which one you want me to click on? First, I want you to read that little caption that it had before you go over to there. Okay, hold up. Uh, on which one? Let's click all. We'll show all of them. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Oh. Okay, it says that's noon. Okay. Yep. Noon is the, me the meaning primordial waters, and he represents the water of chaos out of which uh, Ray Atum begins creation. Noon qualified qualities were boundless, boundlessness, darkness, and the turbulence of storm water. These qualities were personified separately by part of deities. Okay, so this 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 primordial noon, they say, is the infinite chaos, right? Yep. So now yep. we're talking dark matter. We're looking in the sky at the dark. That's the noon. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, on the ground, as above, so below, right? Yep. Pull up Papal Sea. Papal's. P A P A L C. -A -C. P A G A. Yeah. P A P A L. Uh, Say P A T A L C. Right? P A P A L. Oh, it's the Pope. The Pope C. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Same C as Osiris. All right, here we go. The first one, click the first one. All right, pull it up. Remember, as above, so below. You want me to blow it up? <clears throat> yep. All right, hold on, let me see. I want, I want him to be able to see what I'm showing him. Okay, all right. This big mama seat, but I want him to see in relation on the ground to big mama seat where the Pope sit. To the Pope sitting in Big Mama's seat. All no, right, he don't. Go. He can't sit in our seat. All right, go ahead. I got it blew up. Please. Okay, that's suspended. You, if you see it, yeah, it the is. Seat. Now under that is another chair. You see it? Yeah. That's where the Pope sit. Right here. Yeah, I see it. Right, so ahead, that ahead. big, the big chair up there. That's Big Mama chair. Mm -hmm. The Pope can't sit in it because he a man, but he can sit under it. <laughs> now go back to the images again. We finna show y'all okay. some more stuff. Oh, I got you. All right. All right. Um. Go to, scroll down a little bit. You see it? There you go, stop. You see where the, uh, where the first picture is on that line you own? Down right one, click, click that. This picture right here. Blow it up. All right, let's blow it up. This and this is under that seat. All this is taking place under the. This is in the uh, a special room in the Vatican. Oh yeah, it's hidden. <clears throat> okay, why well, won't let me pull it up? Oh, okay. Well, uh, Hold on, I gotta re redo it again because it, it won't let me uh pull that one up. Oh yeah, it's right here. The right here might be over a couple 
might be over some people's head, man, because I, I I'm seeing a lot of stuff in him. That you because it's my first time looking at this picture. Yeah, all this at the Vatican. This is the dragon bitch that usurped the throne. This is her her uh look at her image that's over the Pope you're about to see. There we go. All right, let me blow it up for you. All right. Now you see that? That's a full-fledged dragon over the Pope. Okay. Right? But that's not Big Mama C. Okay. This is under Big Mama C. Now he got he got another picture of him sitting in the throne under that in the, under Big Mama C. See if you can find it. All right, let's do it. Cause you need to see what he's doing. They mirror flipping. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see what we find. Okay, maybe I gotta go back up. Okay. Do you see it? Is it that one? Click the first picture again and scroll under it. Okay, all right. See over here on the right? Yeah, I got you. Okay, look for the Pope to be sitting under that. It's the heavy fish here. Okay, let's do more. And then show it. What's the name of that? Go scroll up. What's the name of the picture? They got a name next to it. All right. Hold on. Let's see. It's called the Chair of St. Peter's. Right. Remember in the um it say um Peter on this rock I will build my temple. Yeah. Okay. All right. Type in see. Pope beneath Pope Cedar. Pope under St. Peter's seat. But right. Peter is Potter. Potter means father. Okay. But it's really uh, the mother's seat. Let's see. I think this is the one where he's sitting under it right here, but it don't show the top part. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think that was one, uh, this one right here. Hold on. Uh, let's see, can I find it over here? Man, these niggas be jacking, bro. I'll tell you, man. They doing all kind of alchemy on our ass. Yeah, this, this is the mirror flipping Big Mama's seat, but it was usurped. What do usurp mean? To go under something, right? Uh-huh. And he's sitting think, under Big Mama C. Uh, trying to find it. What I need. Oh, man. Okay. I should have sent you that. If I didn't know we was going to go on this, I'd have sent you my post. Hey, hey look, this some, this some good shit. Mm hmm. Um. Trying to find that Pope joint. Uh, maybe maybe this is the one right here where he's sitting on it, but we can't see the top piece. Uh, okay. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I can't find one uh, uh, right now. None of that. I think he, like, it, it shows like to get the whole thing, it only shows like the him sitting on it. Uh, right. So anyway, they using okay. the mirrors, right? The as above, so below mirror. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, the usurpers are called what? Jacobites, right? Jacobite, Jacob mean what? To undermine, right? To go <laughs> under something? Mm-hmm. So this is under it. Just showing you who is undermining Big Mama's house. Mm -hmm. 
using the mirror as above, so below. This is him. So you see the chair under the, it's so called St. Peter's seat, but it's really not St. Peter's seat at all. That's the seat of the Black Madonna. Okay. Right, but they corrupted it now. So all that shit gotta be replaced. The whole Vatican gotta be dismantled. Right, cause they mm -hmm. uh, pull up um, Lucifer Cathedral, Vatican City. All right, let's do it. This on a deal of my home. <laughs> Say Lucifer seat, Lucifer Cathedral. Hey, spell uh, spell Cathedral for me. D A T H E D R A L C H T H. C-H-T-H-E-D-R-A-L. Oh, shit. Damn, bro. So Lucifer Cathedral what? in the Vatican. Vatican. This all of the uh, the the sorcery they be doing while we ain't looking. Uh, I, which one you want me to pull up? Let me see. Scroll down. Go down one. Okay, right here. What that say? Oh, uh, it's pulling up down YouTube. Hold up. L Lucifer in the Vatican. Okay, this might be it right here. Right there. That's it. You see, it look like a serpent. Yeah. Man, it's like they here. They here working on this shit. Right, so they using all these. These are the um, the conjures they using to oppress us by uh, us giving them the energy and following they they script. Man, this shit's crazy. I ain't never seen this shit before. Oh, that ain't oh, nothing. Let me blow the it base, up. The basement of the Vatican got all kind of shit in it. A lot of those there. churches over there got mounds and mounds of bones in the uh, under them. Hey, you can see it now. It's it, it like a damn uh, snake head, like a cobra. Yeah. Now, the part down there that look like his mouth, that's where they speak from. Damn, buddy. Wait, wait. Shit. Go ahead. Right. Damn. So now they telling you they underline undermine Big Mama's seat, put the Pope there, and the Pope follow the order that cut from the dragon bitch, and the dragon bitch speak from through the Pope as a giant serpent. That's crazy, man. That shit looks just <laughs> like a damn serpent. Hey. This is all following the mirrors. If you go to where you got that one from, it's some more under it that show more okay. pictures of it. Uh, okay. Uh, you see from different angles right oh, yeah, there? Yeah, 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 okay. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's the Pope right there. Yeah, pick the one in the middle. So that's right him looking out on the audience from that spot. See where like that, uh, you see where that walkway is leading up to what looked like the fangs? Uh-huh. Now that's where the Pope be standing at when he talk. Oh, let me blow this shit up on. Yeah, <laughs> damn, this shit crazy. Uh, 
Crazy, right? God dang, man. He's the crazy man. What the alchemy? Yep. This 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 the alchemy. This what they doing to us. As above, so below. They usurp Big Mama C. That means that they cut off the divine feminine. Right? The nuns represent the noon. Crazy. It's primordial waters because why they women? Yeah, it's right. So it's we right. talking, we talking about divine feminine energy being suppressed. It comes out in what they call Kalima energy. Pull her up. I guess. So I guess. the expressions of Kalima is the women in war mode. And the K R with a C. K. K-A-L-I hyphen Ma M A. Kali Ma or what? What's the last word is it? Kali Ma. K-A-L-I hyphen M A. Yeah, you said something after that. Just type it in by itself. Yeah. Uh, man, that damn cathedral shit is crazy. Go ahead. Uh, this is what he gave me a whole bunch of damn Hindus look like. Well, that ain't Kali Mato. Okay. Uh, I can't. I can't see the writing right there because it's too little for me to see it. But it's K L K A L A I M A. No, it's K A L I hyphen M A. Oh, got it. Oh, I probably forgot the hyphen. Okay. There we go. There we go. A Hindu demon. See, not a demon. This is the primordial chaos waters in human form. This okay, is the blow. vindictive aspect of creator. Let me blow it up for you. Man, you got some good stuff, Rod. I'm telling you. You put me on a whole bunch of stuff that I got to look into. Okay, now you see she got her foot on one man, pale skin, right? Mm-hmm. Her left foot. That means he came in off a of left bump, and she subdued him, right? But she take the enemy's heads. You see who head she got, right? Is he is he pale skin? Oh. Okay, so why she ain't take the pale skin? He wasn't calling the shots. You see if you see he got the, the serpent wrapped around his left hand, right? Oh. All right, now we just got done seeing where the serpent is and where the Pope sit, right? Mm -hmm. This is a symbol for the Pope. And the one that she got his head in her left hand, right? She got a, a tray under there to collect the blood that's coming out, right? Mm -hmm. Right? That's because of their blood rituals. Now, her right hand at the bottom is pointing down to his body, his deceased corpse, in a puddle mm -hmm. of blood, right? But she got blood on her hands, right? She got blood on her right hand. That means that her the, her actions was justified by the law of righteousness. So she had to take his head. And she got to look at his baby, that baby hands, the white hands hanging with the, the heads around her neck. Yeah. So those represent all of the heads of her enemies she took. Now, if you notice, her aura is golden. Yeah. But her skin is blue. Mm -hmm. Th that represents that this is the daughter that's coming off the father line with the golden key. That's been coming from her father. She got 
the um the the order to take the heads of the enemy. That would make her in Egypt Sekhmet. Pull Sekhmet up. Sekhmet. Paul's job. Paul's job. Sick. Paul's job. Sick. Ah, uh, come on. Now I want you, you got to read her story. So you got to go to the all, uh, to um, click all and um, go to read who sent her. Uh, I, I got you. Sigmek also smells Sigmek in ancient religion, a goddess of war and a destroyer of the enemies of the sun god Ra. Uh, Sigmek was associated both with disease and with healing and medicine. So remember, I just showed you Kalima was sent by the father right here. I told you the aspect would be Sekhmet. And when you pulled up Sekhmet, she was destroying somebody's enemy. Who enemies was she destroying? The enemies of Ra. Right. Now, who is Ra? The great father, right? Yeah. Okay, now, pull up segment so they can see what she looked like. The uh, second picture. Fine. Okay, second one. Boom. This is her warring aspect. Don't she look like Kali Ma? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is with the, when the women got mad and they go to war. This is what you get. I blow it up. Oh yeah. Okay, now segment is over the cat lodges. Right? So all of the felines is under segment. And segment only answer to Ra and Isis. Okay. She don't answer to nobody else. You can't control her. Because when she come in this form, the uh, you didn't fucked up so bad that you have to let her uh, satisfy her lust for righteousness with the blood of the wicked. Uh, right. So then they go back to the picture of Kalima. Remember, she had the blood dropping in the pan. Uh, right. So. This is um, Big Mama sending her daughters out now. Okay. And they work for the father in order to establish the justice and righteousness to come to take the heads of the enemies of Ra. That's the golden key. Mm -hmm. Now, once that's all placated, then you need the silver key, right? Which is mm -hmm. Luna. Look her up, L-U-N-A. Luna is the silver key. I got you. Let me close these up. <clears throat> man, I love your I love your perspective, man, and what you see from your angle, man. This this is you give me a whole nother look at this thing. Uh let's see. Yeah. Uh, DT, I guess. Uh, let's see. Gave me a white chick. Uh, uh, did you see uh, some you like on now? No matter. Just click on one. Let's see who she is. Just read the story first. Read the introduction. Okay. Okay. Let me go back. In ancient Rome religion and myth, Luna is the deity embodiment of the moon. She is often presented as the female companion, compelment of the sun. So conceived. Okay, so she the female compliment of the sun. Yeah, compliment <clears throat> of the sun. So conceived. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. That's good. Right here. Okay, now, they telling us that she is the complement of Ra as Luna. Now, yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Click on the little, click on one of the pictures every now. Go to the pictures. Uh-huh. I'm about to take you to somewhere else to go a little bit more in detail. I got you. Let me blow it up. All right. Blowing it up now. All right. Okay, so now you see that it's a female. All right. And she's represented by the moon. Mm -hmm. She got a crescent moon on her head. Mm -hmm. Right? Pull up D-I-N-A. Dina. Dina is long. That's where they get the term Dean from. Dina, you want me to type in just Dina Moon or Dina Just D? Dina. Just Dina. Okay. It's okay. actually spelled, pronounced Dina. D-I-N-A-H. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Uh, let's okay, let's go, read, let's go read who she is first. In the book of Genesis, Dina, Hebrew. Hold on, let me uh, pull it over here. Okay. Oh, maybe I didn't type in just on extra. All right. Dina is the daughter of the patriarch Jacob, at least the only one named. Hold on, let me see if I get up. Uh, see the daughter of Jacob. Hold up. This that's biblical. Okay, I'm trying to hold on. Maybe look, I need to type in. Look, type goddess in front of her name. Okay, all right. That's what I need to do. All right. Let me see. Can I? Okay, Dina in Roman religion, goddess of wild animals and the hunt, identified with the Greek goddess Art- Artemis. Her name is a skin to the Latin word doom, sky and daylight. Like her Greek counterpart, she was also goddess of domestic animals. Okay, so now we're talking the goddess she went from the moon as Luna. Now, as Dinah, she's a god of domestic animals. This is a housewife we building. Mm-hmm. Okay, now in Egypt is Dina. I mean, in in in, in Arabia is Dina. Al Islam is represented by her. Click that picture you was on right there. Mm-hmm. Did she got the crescent moon on her head? Yeah, yeah. the same as Luna, right? All right, now pull up A L L A T. You might want to put goddess in front of that too. A A L T, right? A L L A T, a lot. A L L A T, okay, a lot. Yeah, it's the same beam, right? Uh, let's re- you want me to read something on it? Yeah, let's okay, see what they say. A lot also spill a lot, a lot to, and a lot li- to. Is a pre Islamic Arabic goddess worshiped under various associations throughout the entire Arabic Peninsula. Okay, it says, uh, Peninsula, include Mecca, where she was worshiped alongside Matt and Al Al Yuza, as one of the daughters of Allah. Now, she preceded Allah. Okay. But now they made her his daughter. Okay. Because in the Quran, in the Quran, they changed her name from a lot to a lot. Okay. Right. So she was what you call principal deity of um of the moon in the Islamic culture. So when you look her up, she's represented by the moon. You see the yeah. uh, that's her? Yeah. See the crescent? Mm-hmm. So we mirror flipping. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you where they all at. 
mm-hmm. by flipping these mirrors. All right. Yeah, you- now put behind it association with the moon behind her name and go back to the to the full page. Uh yeah, okay. It, yeah, it connects. Okay. It says a lot, a lot, a lot. Is it Arabian moon goddess, an ancient mother of the fertility goddess? She form, forms she forms a triple god with Al Yuzup, Al Yuzup, goddess of the moon stars, and Man Manit, goddess of fate and time. Okay, they that's were, the, uh, that's the three ahead. sisters. Okay. The, re- the three sisters in one personage is represented in um, ancient Egypt as uh, Lilith, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? And when you pull her up, and also as Inanna. So pull up Inanna. She's going to be a three-faced, a three-bodied goddess. Goddess of ancient Egypt? Nope. Just put, put her name in there, Inanna. I N A N N A. Anana is an ancient Mesopotamia goddess associated with love, beauty, sex, war, justice, political power. She was originally worshipped in summer, a uh, Sumeria, under the name Anana, and later by the Arcadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians under the name Ishtar. Okay, now click the image of her. Okay. All right. She, hey, she looked just like that chick, you, the first chick you showed me. Oh, look. Uh, all right, go ahead. Okay, so now this picture, you see those, those in her hand, those are called uh, the... Uh, um, ba, right? Say that picture, her. We finna, cause we finna dissect it. Now go up there and look up ba, b a, Egyptian ba. Ba, right. Now this is represented as your your spirit self. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, put ring behind by so you can see the ring. It's going to show you the rings that was in her hand. All right. Um, it ain't showing up. Hold up. Uh, yeah, it's right here. Uh, if I could blow it up, it's that ring that he carrying right there, right? Yep. That's the same thing. Hey, so let me, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. Hey, so when she holding them like that, does that mean she capturing somebody's soul or something? Uh, that's a that's the funerary rites. She's actually returning the soul back to the source. The colors mm-hmm. are significant too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they right. can see it, it's right there. He holding it right there. I'm gonna blow it up. Right. So that's called the key. Uh, that's the top of the aunt, by the way. Hmm. Right. Why they pulling it up? All right. Same thing she had in her hand, didn't, ain't it? Yeah. Okay, now let's go back to the picture. All right. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. Okay, now you see she got wings on her back, right? Uh huh. And she got a lioness on each side of her. Uh huh. Those are Sekhmet. Okay. A Sekhmet, and um, I forget the other one, Tef- Tefnet, I believe it is. Right? Because um, those are the, the two daughters of Isis that's um, protecting the mother. So as you look at her feet, she got owl's feet. Okay. Right? That's the, the in Sumer, that's the symbol for uh, rulership. And you see she got wings. Yeah. 
So in order to know the significance of wing, pull up Barashango. Okay, let me type it in. B-A-R-A S-H-A-N-G-O apostrophe S. Hold on, you gotta add some more to it. Well, remember, man, go down one and then the third picture over to the right, right there. All right. Nope, that ain't it. Go back up to the second row, first picture. That's the one we're looking for. All right, let me type in. Right there? Yeah. Oh, let me save it. Pull it up for you. So this book explains the wings. All right, boom. See what it say? Yeah, it says African women, the are the original guardian angels. Right. <clears throat> now, in that book, it tells you what the wings mean. That's why I'm having you even pull that up. Mm -hmm. Because in here, Barashango <laughs> was one of our ancestors, or our elders over here that came and brought us some good information. Mm -hmm. Right, and this is a this right here to me is probably one of the most important books for us to read before we start to restore the matriarch. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now pull up Tefnet so they can see she's the uh, see her symbol or the zoo type for Tefnet. Okay. All right. I'm trying to make sure I got the right goddess too. By the way. Definitely is uh, Gibbs' uh, wife, I think. All right, let's see. I know Tefnet is the goddess of the earth. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you got there the right. Yeah. yeah. So show them the picture of Tefnet so they can see that she's, that's the other one. She got two lionesses at her feet. Mm-hmm. Tekmet and Tefnet. Right, let me blow it up for you. All right. There we go. See it? Yep. In case she's holding the scepter of rulership, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But we ain't going to get into that right now because we got somewhere else we got to go. Okay, so now we are on a shoe me in resonance. Pull up shoe me in resonance and read to people what it is. We still flipping mirrors because she the goddess of the earth. So we got to get to earth now. We started off in the stars with Big Mama, mm -hmm. showed you Big Mama's seat. Now we're showing you her daughters as the heirs of the land. This is the key. Hey, spell that. I, I think I looked that word up, but I can't remember how to spell it. It's, it's, it's the mom that I just call it. Hoshoni Shunin. S C H U M I N. S C H U M. S C H U M. Hello. Ah, um, this is the photo. Hello. S C H. Hey, spell it again. S C H U M. S C. Yeah. I N. And what was the last word you said? Wait a minute, it is S H U M A N, my bad. S H U. S H U M A N.
What did it say? All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Student resonation. Oh, oh, a set of spectrum spectrum, spectrum peaks in the extreme low frequency portions of the Earth electromagnetic spectrum. Schumann resonation are global electromagnetic reson resonance generated and excited by lightning discharge in the caput form of earth surface and the ion sphere. So basically it's the resonant frequency of the earth's vibration, right? Oh yeah, this good shit. Uh, that's what it looked like. Now remember, hey, so, uh, remember, Tefnit is the goddess of the earth, right? Mm hmm. Pull up S C H U, shoot. All uh, right, let me say this picture. I'm going to do more research on it. All right, pulling it up now. S H U shoot. Yeah, I got it. Uh, there you go. Yeah, this some good stuff, bro. Uh, okay, shoot. You want me to pull up uh the one at the top, all the way to the right, where it tell you what he do. Oh, okay, I right, hold up. Let's go back. I can do. I can do this. God of air. That's God of air, right? Uh huh. All right, now say that. Pull up M I N next. M I N. Oh yeah, I'm gonna look up that Schumann resonance resonation. Uh, you say what? Now what's the one on it? One. Now we're looking for another one, M-I-N. Because we're breaking the Schumann resonance down to the frequency that we own. I'm showing you where it's at in the um in the guide forms. Schumann, M-I-N. I got it. Oh, you only want I don't know if I can show that one. Just just M-I-N. Yeah, the guard mean, right? Yep. Yeah, I don't know if I can show that one because it got it's got its uh just show a statue. You got can't flag you for a statue. Yeah, the statue is uh it's crazy. Pull the first one up, the first picture where it don't it's not that bold. Okay, there you go right there. That's good. So you see it, you see what he looked like, right? Hold on, let me blow it up for you. Oh man. Okay, yeah, go right there. Can you see it? Hold on, let me save it so I can blow it up. Yeah, I hope they don't flag me for this one. Oh, come on, come on. I got you right here. So what is this telling us so far that we're on the wrong frequency? I'm finna show you why we're on the wrong frequency after you uh, get that second picture. Man. Now, just... now, go pull up Shoe Tefnut. All right, shoot Tefna. Okay, I got you. That joint right there, man. Shoot Tefna. Yeah, I think yeah, you know what? Tefna might be the, the, the wife of uh of Shoe, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. You see yeah. the uh the arms over the people holding it up, the canopy. Uh, it's yeah, like right uh, here, right here. This yeah. one right here. It's one hundred in color. All right, right there. Oh, right here. No, no, let me get it right here. I'm gonna blow it up. I'm gonna blow it up for you. Let me get it right here. I'm gonna blow it up for you. Boom. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All right, here we go. Let me blow it up. All right, there we go. Can you this see it? Is, right. So what did this picture tell us? 
it's uh that, that that's Tef nut that's over the earth, I guess. This is Shu down here. Shu is the father of the sky. Tef so Shu is Mother Earth. Yeah, right. It's talking about the resonant frequency. Okay. The polarity is divine masculine to divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Now go to the uh, Google and read what it say about Shu and Tefnut. Okay, I got you. Go back. Uh, Shu and Tefnut. Tefnut the deity of moisture, moisture, air, dew, and rain in ancient Egypt religion. She is the sister and Consult of uh, consult of the air god Shu and the mother. You see that? Yeah. So Tefnut goes with Shu. Mm -hmm. Now you see what men look like, right? Yeah, men. We under Shu men resonance, right? Oh yeah. You, yeah, go ahead. I see where you go. So you got two male principles at play. A double mm -hmm. masculine polarity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That means that it's only going to get more masculine if it's not proper flip. Um, pull up uh, yeah. electromagnetic grid so they can see what it looked like. All right. Because the electromagnetic grid, when things are in a proper order, is supposed to be shoe tefnut resonance. Just pull the pictures up. Uh, hey, that's about that's the balance right there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's uh go down. Down one more right under that one, right here. This at the top now, it's the fourth picture. Yep, down one right there. All right, let me save it. Pull it up. Yeah, it's really gonna be a class. So, this is the Schumann grid that we own right mm -hmm. so you see how we uh, uh, all of this connects around the world but we're mm -hmm. trying to get back to the shoe and the tefnut the proper balance of male female mm -hmm. as above mm -hmm. so below mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. now we started flipping the mirrors from big mama house in the mm -hmm. sky mm -hmm. and we followed the mirror flip to the ground to find out that the dragon bitch usurped the throne of Big Mama on Earth and put Pater, the father, the Holy Papal Sea, on the throne, but she couldn't, he wasn't, a man can't sit on the throne of the Earth thrones. Mm -hmm. That's Galactic Council seat 40 is reserved for a woman. Mm -hmm. All right, now, Galactic seat 50 is reserved for the man. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now, as long as they keep us from knowing that the papal seat is really supposed to be the mother seat, we can't never find out where the father seat is. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, pull up the black stone. The black stone, right? Yeah. Kaba. Yeah. Hey, uh, while, while we go, while I'm going to the Kaba. So it, it, it's the Vatican sitting on one of those grids, those uh, key points in the grid. The ley line. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, that, that, so by them moving the Vatican to uh, that area, that was alchemy. That's a part of the mirror flip, too. No, they didn't move it there. They, they invaded it. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm pulling it up. Now, anybody in their right mind should know that this is a, a, a yoni, a vagina. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yep. Now, 
Pull up a picture that's a close up of it. All right, I'm doing it's it right it's now. On the, it's on the corner of the Kaaba, the black stone. I mean, the black box, which is representative of the uterus. And this is how you know it represents the uterus as the portal of life because there's a black stone sitting on there. But you see that that's a any. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where's mm -hmm. the Audi at? Because we got to find out where to, in order to get on shoe and tough nut resonance, we have to find the, the Audi, the, the phallus, the male phallus. Mm -hmm. And it got to be on a building, on the side of a building, just like this on the side of a building. Where is it at? It's got to be one of them domes, uh, them, them, uh, the dome tops. Uh, uh, it got to be the, uh, what's you call that thing in ancient it came in? It's called the uh, uh, obelisk. Nope, it's not an obelisk because the obelisk stand alone. It's got to be on the side of a building. Okay, all right. So, because this, it got to match this. Okay. Get a close-up of the Blackstone. I want them to see on the inside, it's a reflection in there. No, go to a picture of it by itself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, let me do that. All right, the Blackstone. Just want me to put up a whole picture? Just it, not the Kaaba. The stone, just the, just the black stone, the first picture. Just that piece? Go all the way over to your left and pull up the first picture. Right here. All right, let me blow it up for you. All right, here we go. This is called Mary in the East to the West, by the way. There you go. Now, some of us can see it, some of us can't, but it's a face right there. The face on the other side of the world. We're flipping mirrors, right? Yeah. So the, the face that's in there, um, it's not a real good picture. You can't see it from this one. But it is pull up the Temple of Tehuti in Mexico. All right. You're going to see the Audi hanging off the side of the building. All right. Which one? Uh, is it like the chapel looking one or just the, like the pyramid? No, there one? go the Audi right there. It's a uh, right second row middle picture. Nope. Right here. Nope. Right Hold here. on, I gotta find it again. No, that's not it. Um, it ain't on the. You took it off the roster. No, oh, there it is. Second right picture from the big picture. Nope. It looked like a dragon head. Oh, okay, all right. Third, right there. That's it. That's the Audi. Oh man, this shit is it. I'm gonna watch this tape again when we get through. All right, what you got on? Let me uh, let me blow it up. Yeah, make it bigger. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, shit. It ain't going to let me do it. Hold up. What that caption uh, say under it, Elder? It says, Me a Mexican archaeologist find Aztec temple platform at Mexico City temple made mayor ruins, major ruins. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they find temple platform at Mexico City. Uh, so you, I know what you're saying because you know in Jamaica, uh, they said that they call it your serpent. You they call your your phallus your serpent. Mm -hmm. Your rep, your reptile. They call it the reptile. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what they call it in uh, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. yeah, that they, black mamba. Yeah. It's another one. It's, this ain't the right image. Yeah, it don't look like but, it. Uh, but it's, this is this will give you an idea what I'm talking about. Um, because it's on the side of the building. It's clearly protruding from the side of the building. Maybe that's it. It says serpent. That's, of great it, that's way too big. Okay. All right. uh, uh, let me see. 
Yeah, this good right here. There you go. That's the one. When you can look into the into the Kaaba, you see this face looking back at you. That's the mirror flip. Oh yeah, it's good shit. Now remember, one was the any, this is the outing. We tying the motherland to the fatherland. Okay. Right, using the mirrors. Cause uh -huh. the father, penis seeing itself in the mother's yoni. That's a symbol for giving birth to a son just like the father. Okay. okay. Right? Now, this is on top of, on a, on a pyramid. So mm -hmm. now we're dealing with geometry. We went from a triangle, I mean, from a rectangle to a triangle. Mm -hmm. Right? And all of this is taking place in the circle. The circle is the globe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So this would be the phallus, and the black stone would be the yoni to tie mm -hmm. the motherland to the fatherland to tie the east to the west. Mm -hmm. Now, who job was that? Big Mama. Big Mama sent somebody to do it. Who job was it? We using the hoodie. To hoodie. That's the hoodie job. Yeah. Now, you see this symbol, pull up Thunderbird. Oh, uh, uh, Thunder, uh, they, they put a damn call. Oh, look, well, uh, scroll down. Thunderbird. Okay, all right. Right here? Mm -hmm. Keep scrolling. Okay, all right. You see it on there? Mm -mm, that ain't the one I'm looking for. Thunderbird what? Okay, look up Quetzal Cotto. Okay, all right. Q-U-E-T-Z-C-O-A-T-L. Hold up, I got it right here. I got it. Oh, yeah, baby. You got it? You want me to just blow it up? No, nah, because I want just another picture I'm looking for. All right, hold on. Let me look down right here. Maybe it's this one. Mm -mm, it's, it's a dragon. Okay, hold up just a second. I think I see it on here. Uh, I should have just had you look up Plume Serpent. This is the uh, petroglyph. Oh, right here, right here. Okay, I, what is, it, is it one eating the dude? Right here? No. Uh, okay. Uh, it ain't on there. I don't, I don't, it ain't even nothing close to what I'm looking for right now. Okay, you just want me to, hold on. Hold on, let me try this. You hold on, I got it. I think I'm better finding when I type this in. Q U E. <laughs> Case it deal. Yeah, this hey, you already gave me a lot, lot already to go off of, man. That I can do my own spin on it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. yeah. What you putting in there? I can't even see what you're writing. Uh, I'm putting uh. I'm, I'm just typing another way to put the uh, 
Put plume, plume, put plume serpent. Plume serpent. All right. Let me pull up an image of that. All right, yeah, it pulled up that same picture. Oh, the head. And I want to see the one over the pyramid, but it ain't coming up. Uh, that ain't, that ain't it. That's a better picture of the, of, the, of the Audi, though. Man, so this Audi is older than the other, other Audi? All the these in dif these different temples, depending on which one, um, I don't know. Like you got the temple of Kutsukoto, Kulakai. Um, there's different temples down there, that, and they all got different symbols on them. And we know we know Kutsukoto, uh is Inky, right? No, nope. they, they said that uh, in the uh, whole challenge, Kutsukoto is Tahuti. Okay. I think in the uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think in the holy tablets. Uh nah, I don't think yeah, I think they I think Baba said that they called him when Inky visits them because it's a story about the Inky bringing the gold to uh to uh the Aztecs and uh, they, they gave. I don't, I don't remember what exactly what it said completely. I think it's a connection between Inky. And uh, this hey, dude scroll down a little bit. I think I see the one I'm one close to it. What I'm looking for on the bottom down there. It's at the top now. You just passed. Okay. One more, right? Okay, that. Right here. Wait a minute. Go left to the third to the picture that say Quetzalcoatl. All right. How many left? To the right. One more to the right. The next one up, nope, to the right. Oh, to the right. The other yep. way. The one to the uh, left of that one. See where it say Quetzalcoatl at? The big dragon right there, red. Yeah. Blue. So two to the left or one? The one that say Quetzalcoatl, it's a red dragon here. Yeah, right. I see one it. more over. Go over one more. One more to the left. I am, no, I'm you're going the wrong way. Hold on, I'm, I'm blowing it up. Hold up. Let me go back. There you go, right next to the picture you showing. Up one. Right there. Right here? Yeah. That one? Yep. Yeah. All right. Now you see him on top of the pyramid. That's the step pyramid of um um in Mexico. Okay. That's the temple of Tahuti. So you see this symbol right here? It used to be a bird. It's extinct now. But it used okay. to have feathers when the light hit it. It used to be almost like a, it used to be like a pearl in the feather. Okay. And the women used to make a big suit. And the men used to wrap around the pyramid. And the leader, Tahuti, would stand on the top and he would hold the head. This is where you get your transformer story, where they all break apart and form into one giant. Uh huh. Uh huh. So these different parts of the plume serpent would be made by the women on the land for a ceremony in Mexico. This right here is some heavy stuff. I'm about to look at the connection because uh, I think, uh, man, I think I remember reading in the Holy Tablets where it said, what well, Bible said it was a connection between. Quick Dakota and Ink in and Inky because Inky went over there. Uh, he went over there to deliver the gold, and uh, these people started calling him that. So I don't know, I, and I guess the connection that he made with the serpent is that because of because uh, of Inky, his mother was like part of the reptilians that was here that's on this land. So uh, yeah, I I read it back over again later. Cause I got so much stuff in my going on in my head right now. Cause you get, cause your perspective. Cause me, me, I don't deal with right or wrong. I deal with your perspective. Like so, you you looking from this angle and you telling me what you see, and then I take it. I'm looking on this side. I'm seeing what I see. Then I might take other brothers who looking at it from another angle, and I take them all and put it to one big 
uh, look at it, the thing. And then I All can right. make a big picture. What you describing okay. now, remember, we flipped the mm -hmm. mirrors. Yeah, go ahead. So go what ahead. you, that's a, a, a actual art that was part of the culture of mm -hmm. the Anasazi you used the spider. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you pull up Anzi from American Gods, that's the character. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, I watched the, it. And the symbol was the mm -hmm. spider. Mm -hmm. So if you put in Native American spiders, uh, mm -hmm. um, totem. That's they totem animal. Because they got to weave different perspectives to make one picture. Symbol. Okay, that's all right. it right there. The first one is that's that's they symbol. All of these they symbols in different forms, but it's the same thing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's some good stuff right here. So this they totem animals. Remember, on this land we didn't fly flags. We yeah. stake totems. Mm hmm. So all over the country is totem poles that ties into your totem animal. So the, so like yeah, that like so it's, it's the same as it's a mirror flip over in ancient Kemet too because we were we had a lot of animal zoo types too over there, right? Right, because those were our tribal totem animals. Okay. Right, and the only one who had a primate. Uh, that was a uh, false. He had okay. a baboon. Yeah, yeah. Right, and uh -huh. false is Tahuti. Okay. So you see what the totem poles look like? Yeah, I'm pulling it up right now for him. Okay, pull up the one where they show the whole the totem poles in the line because that's important. Okay, right here. Yeah. Now you see how you got all these different totem poles? Let me blow it up for you. There's some good stuff right here, man. You got to be able to read your culture in the land if you if you from the land. Mm -hmm. I, I, I and all these uh, dirty moors talking about I don't got no receipts. They don't even know what this shit mean, but I'm about to tell you. Go ahead, I got you. Count the totem poles. There's six of them, right? Yeah. This six. is a six tribe confederation right here. Each tribe. If you zoom in on any one of them totem poles, zoom in, you see they got different, different totems on the totem pole. Mm -hmm. Scroll down and look at it. That means yeah, that this, this, this tribe is a conglomeration of these totems right here. Mm -hmm. The one that's out front. Yeah, that's right. Any one of them. Pick any one of them. It's going to tell you the same thing. Just pick the short one. See the short okay. one on the right? Yeah, I guess. Okay, now. You see they got these different tribal totems. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right? This mm -hmm. one right here with the short one with the wings on it. Mm-hmm. At the bottom, it's a, a figure holding a child. Mm-hmm. Right? This is a a clan who put the children as the foundation. This is matriarchal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So then he got the colors in the face and the facial expression goes back to Kalima. But then you have the wing um, chief, which means a full feather chief, right? Mm -hmm. is, the, uh, is the one that's uniting this clan right here. The oh, other clans, was probably united most likely by the mothers. You see at the top, you start getting the full feather chiefs with the wings out. Yeah, the same one on that one as this one. Right. They're not the same, they similar. No, nah, no, nah, they're different colors, like, yeah, right. And there's one in the back back there, too. Yeah, right here. Right. That's because under each one of them tribes, they got a chief that's recognized as most love, most respected in tribes outside of the one that represent that totem pole. This is mm -hmm. how you make your confederacies, your tribal confederations, mm -hmm. right? So when we all agree that we gonna respect each other, love each other and be uh, support each other in trade, 
in economics, in education, in entertainment. We make these kind of uh, alliances and we stake totem poles to um, to tell the rest of the people on the land, this tribe, this tribal land right here is a conglomeration of six tribes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, so now anybody that come know that whoever it is that's the caretaker of this, you can read the totem pole and know which tribe you come into the land to see and they're going to send a scout out from that tribe to meet you there. Mm -hmm. The scout job is to test, is to fill you out before they allow you to meet the chief. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's normally a one, two, or three feathered chief. That's the scout. Yeah, it's some good shit. Right? We read mm -hmm. the land. So now, go to Totem Pole in D.C. 20... 19, I think it was. Oh, yeah. The big mama talk speaking through you now. I just felt the energy. <laughs> Say, big mama just told you that. Go to D.C. Yeah. In 2020, right? 2017, I think it was. Okay. Or 2018. No, nah, 2019. My bad. Uh, yeah, I just felt that frequency. Uh, that I just felt the hit you. And it hit me, too. Yeah. Uh, I got you right here. Totem pole in DC, right here. Is that it's that first one, right? Um, or is it this one that it's, uh, it's several of them showing it? Yeah, yeah. Uh okay. go to the go to the picture where the people at third from the bottom all the way over to the other side. All right. I mean third from the top all the way to the other side. Right here, right here. This one. Yep, yep. I ain't blow this, up Read the little uh caption while you're doing that. Okay, all right. Let me uh let me get it pulled back up. Man. I'm gonna read the caption too. Caption says why indigenous activists are driving a 21 25-foot total pole across the country. Smart news. Smithsonian magazine. Okay, oh, now, remember I told you we had to reclaim the 10-square-mile crash site known as D.C. back by staking a totem pole. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. This is the totem pole. Now, you see right there, you have that uh, woman praying in a, a praying, supplicating position. This shit gave me chills. When you, this shit shit giving me chills. <laughs> <laughs> this was us claiming back that 10 square miles. Yeah, man. Yeah. This how you do this is how we do it. We don't use flags. Mm -hmm. We use totem poles. Now, if you look at how far they travel 400 miles. Mm -hmm. Right? That's four, that's one mile for the year that the occupiers has been in the dominant position on the land. How do we know mm -hmm. this? Because mm -hmm. type in Senate, no, Congress recognized 400 years of servitude. Oh, damn thing. I ain't catching up. All right, you want me to put the black feet? Yeah. No, I want you to uh, go to the page or something. It's gonna tell okay. you. Uh, it's gonna tell you the bill and all that stuff. Okay, all right. Congress, uh, American African history. Um. Okay. It's called the the Commission Act. 
the bill established the 400 years of African Americans, which we know we want African Americans, history commissions to develop and carry out activists throughout the United States to come, come out, commemorate the 400th anniversary of the arrival of Africans in Egypt. They had a bunch of game right there. England colonies at Point Comfort, Virginia in 1619. That ain't what you were looking for, is it? That's exactly it. That's what they passed okay. the bill on. Look, so notice that they say activists, right? You flipping mm -hmm. mirrors, ain't we? Mm -hmm. Who did they say brought the total poll across the activists. nation? Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. So the they went 400 miles across the country and they passed the 400 year commemoration. I mean, acknowledgement of the settlers coming here the colonizers 400 years ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It took them 200 years to get a stronghold on the people over here by a system of murder and bloodshed and exploitation. Mm -hmm. At the conclusion of the 400 years, it's also the conclusion of the 200 years Scottish right agreement to treat us harshly, subjugate us, and try to make us forget who we was so they could take the land. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So now all of these things is converging at the same time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody finds out to the way uh the way you're going, don't show me some stuff. You give me certain clues that I need to go to make another uh to get another look at this thing. Cause like I say. Ain't no right and wrong to me. When you bring what you bring and your shit, you got receipts. So anybody thinking that brother Rob just be talking shit out the side of his dick, man, when now that he's on here with me and I'm able to pull the shit up and show you why you talk, it makes it way better. It makes it way better to what people can see. Oh, this nigga ain't just talking about this nigga. This nigga is kidding. This nigga is, cause like, cause I, I had one cat that was uh, talking, said that, uh, that, that man, what he's saying ain't heavy. All right, nigga. Yeah, right. Uh, it don't gotta be him. look. It, it don't gotta be heavy to him. All they gotta do is put them in a mm -hmm. position to secure what's rightfully theirs by birthright. If yeah, they don't right. secure it, if they don't secure it, it's not my fault. Yeah. But I'm doing everything I can to put them in the position to secure it. I mean, I'm giving you all mm -hmm. the information. I'm showing you mm -hmm. shit that ain't nobody else talking about because it ain't on their radar. Yeah, ain't nobody talking about this like this. That, and the way you breaking it down, you give it, man, you like a, uh, like the medicine man. Or you like one of them guys that's part of the tribe to keep that, to bring back, to keep the kids, uh, restore, like let them keep the, the information going, uh, keep the, uh, our tribal history, uh, coming it's back. All, like, what we don't Yeah, care. that's called the tribal grid. <clears throat> that's, what, that's what you are, man. Tribal grid guy. So this shit is shit. We, we, we started off with Big Mama in the Sky, right? Uh -huh. Ty Earth, uh -huh. 13 seed mm -hmm. of the Zodiac, because of mm -hmm. a Mandela effect that changed the baker's dozen from 10 to 13. Mm -hmm. You can't have a half a baker's dozen with 13 because it's 6.5 is half. Yeah, that's right. Right? But yeah. then when you look at 6.5, that's six fifth flip five. So that means that it's a six in one hand and a five in the other, six fit five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. the half of Baker's does in that 13 off the Mandela effect, which is actually mm -hmm. a Mandela effect. And the Mandela is the sigil of creation. Mm -hmm. Right? So then this gives us the knock on the ground off the knock to the sky to see that somebody is undermining Big Mama C. They call him the Pope, the Holy See, right? And mm -hmm. he is the one that they call Pater or Peter, which is father. But he mm -hmm. don't sit on the throne of Peter. He sits under the throne of Peter because mm -hmm. the father not supposed to sit in the mother's seat. Big Mama's porch. Right. Big Mama's sitting on Big Mama's porch, right? Yeah. And while Big Mama's sitting on the porch, she's overwatching all the children. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Right? And she ain't sitting by herself because she got Nana up there with her. She got Madea up there with her. And, you mm-hmm. know, we let the old ladies sit up there and talk about stuff all day long. And we think they're not paying attention, but they know where every one of them kids at. As soon as you ask, where's so-and-so at? Oh, he over there behind the uh, barn playing with uh, Lil Willie and, and, and mm-hmm. Lil uh, Shay Shay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody else see him go behind the barn. Go around there. He, he around there. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. gonna go look just to see if you if you know if he around there, mama. You sure enough, mm-hmm. big mama. He was sure enough around there playing with Jessica. <laughs> see, I told you I know where the babies be at. Right. They're watching everything. They watching everything. Mm-hmm. Right? Because they got they got third eye sight. Mm-hmm. When they have one of the children in their sights, no matter where that child go, even though Big Mama ain't there, she's still watching over them. Mm-hmm. As mm-hmm. above, so below. Mm-hmm. No matter where we at on the earth, Big Mama up there can see us. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she above, we below. Mm-hmm. It's easier to look down on something and see the whole picture than to look up to it and try to figure out what you're looking at. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? So we flip the mirrors. When you flip mm-hmm. the mirrors, you find a usurper, the one who undermines. Once you find mm-hmm. the ones who undermine, then you know who was undermined because they're going to be under their motherfucking seat. Man, it's good. Now, the rule is they can't sit on the throne, but they can stop anybody else from sitting on it, using it, all of the devices and tactics that they agreed to in secret, which was the murder plot. Mm-hmm. Remember we pulled that up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, on the last tape. Go back and check out the last tape if you haven't checked out the one where me and Brother Rob Hanks cooking up with Rob Hanks. He breaks that down on the last tape. Go ahead. Right. So when you start looking through the mirrors and when you have enough uh, education, see, I, I got a GED. I don't got none of them alphabets. Mm-hmm. Why do I only have a GED and know more stuff than most doctors and lawyers put together? Mm-hmm. And the reason is the big mama sent me to learn without being influenced by it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So now I can tell y'all where everything yet. The mm-hmm. five reflect the six. The six reflect the five. Five and six is 11. Mm-hmm. Right. And 11 mm-hmm. is one and one. That's two pillars. That's why Keen and Boaz, mm-hmm. a pillar and a post. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And the one who's coming for the throne will beat your ass from pillar to post just to move you out from under the throne because you don't belong there. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So we got to clean up the house before Big Mama come home. Mm-hmm. Right. So now Big Mama home. We didn't already cl- close the Vatican closed. Mm-hmm. The Buckingham Palace closed and Washington, D.C. closed. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, if you pull up, pull up the White House. Um, tour schedule. Because, you know, they take high school tours every year to the White House yeah. from all over the country. So pull up the high school, to, I mean, the tour schedule for the White House. Mm-hmm. And see what uh, they say. Okay, let's see. Visit the White House. So the tour available Friday through Saturday. Uh, for 2022, I might have to pull it up like this. Uh, let's see. Well, I came at the same time. Today, the Biden Harris. Okay, all right. let me scroll down. Uh, schedule. Okay. Yeah, I can't say that word. They got that word on there. Yeah, but I don't think they're doing no more. Uh, tours, plans, do the U.S. House of Representatives switchboard at Susan. Yeah, it don't say nothing about no schedule on here. It just says, man, this might be old. Uh, let's see. Let me take let me look at this one. Go to official White House site. Okay, all right. Let's go. Uh, let's take this too. Uh, here, I think, I think I got it right here. Let's see. I think I got it right here. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's pull it over. Proceed to the schedule tour. 
Yeah, I don't think they're doing, they don't, they don't say they're doing no tools no more. It, it's, it's doing like, uh, it's doing video tours. It's kids being there. Yeah, uh, I think that's a wrap, man. Really okay, so if the White House open, they're supposed to be doing tours. I want to know where the tour is at. That's yeah, why I told you to look that up because they're not doing any tours because it's closed. Yeah. Yeah, they uh they ain't doing no tools. They said they shut down because of that that cold word. I ain't gonna say the word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, yeah, they shut down. They, they they making that excuse for it, but we know the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's now that all of that. Those restrictions lifted now. So why was the excuse? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Right, but they still using the same excuse. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They are using that that you know. This is a block between cons. Uh, hold on. Let me see if they, they see if I can pull this up. Uh, hold up. Block. Yeah, man. Uh, I think you gave me enough for the day to go off of, man. They uh, they got a fence around it. What I mean, yep. like a, a barcade that's blocking it. Uh, and, and it's got armed guards keeping. Uh, like like oh, here you go right here. Here's a good one, uh, brother Rod. Here you go right here. Oh no, not that one. It's uh, well, let me see. It's one that uh. They even pulling certain artifacts up out of that joint, man. Uh, I saw, I saw uh, a thing Look, like right here. Right they do. next, my man standing next to uh, that's the state building, not the White House, okay. but it's the second one. It's right next to the one with the number ten on it. Okay, yeah, right here, that one right there. That's the that's the um uh the the state house. That's block closed off too. Hold on, let me blow this joint up, man. Did they put like a, a thing where you can't even see in that joint? This right here is this. You get hey, you hooked this up, man. Every time you come through for me, uh yeah, because look, I'm we trying to let the people know we on some Juneteenth shit right now, trying to let them know damn, they man, done. Boy. Yeah, right. man, you yeah, another cra head cracker. Uh galactic cap twisters, man. We twisted caps. They won't let me blow that, won't let me share that one out big. But uh, this is that gate right here. It's like it's like a it's like a set, it's built with blocks. Like it, they built it out of like solid concrete. It ain't just no regular gate. They built up putting a solid concrete gate around this joint, man. You see it right there? Yeah, right here. And and then they got guards on the outside like this. You can't even like this is a side. Like if you if you if you can see it, let me blow it up real quick. Let me see can I blow this one up? It's really like a center, like a tall center block type gate. You know what I'm saying? This joint. Yeah, concrete wall pieces. Yeah. Like Sections of concrete walls. Yeah, like this. Can you, mm -hmm. you see it now, I think? So they look how, big, look how thick that wall is. Yeah, that's a thick wall. Dang, man. They closed. I'm telling you, they closed. We on some Juneteenth shit trying to get the people to see that this shit is over with. Dang, this shit is crazy. There's some good stuff right here. Like, I'm going to have to look, go back and watch Look, this type again. in you in clothes. You going to see there ain't no flags up or nothing. You in clothes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Class attention. Oh, look. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. Hold on, let me see. Uh, you in, you know, maybe I need to type it in the whole damn thing. You know it? Nations. I see what they give me. Oh yeah. Oh 
Oh, yeah. I'm looking for the one with the flags, miss. Oh, yeah, here you go, right here. Right here. Hey, this is it right here. They somebody somebody made a uh made a tape on it on May 19th, 2022. Said that, that uh they they shut down this location. Uh and it's got like those uh barcades with tape with uh like the crime tape. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to go watch that video. Oh yeah. So they 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 treat this like a like uh like some people came and like it's like a crime scene almost. Well, the UN, the United Nations was the crime scene. It was the center for the largest conspiracy to uh, enslave the people of Earth in the history of the world. It's just it's ground zero. Damn! So they they, they treat that shit like a crime scene. Hold on, that's the NYPD. Hold up, let me pull this one up. I just seen one uh, where it says they were sitting down. Uh, it might be. And they got Donald Trump on there. What's a waste of real estate? I should turn it into a condos. Wow. Wow. Man. So it's a debate. That's number one. That's the number one uh, criminal organization. Or, or right. where they, ha they hide out it. Because uh, they, they try to make that one flag the only flag. They try to get rid of all the other flags. Ain't none of them flying now. I got pictures on my Facebook of the UN building uh, with the flags down and all kind of shit. It's, I got that shit already posted. Yeah, but you know how that but, is on, on Google, man. They, they be trying to hide mm -hmm. this shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, maybe that's why I, it's a lot of stuff I can't say because they they flagging me. But uh, yeah, put I, Buckingham I know I, Palace, put Buckingham Palace, um, broken crest. Oh shit! That's because they closed. Blow it up so the people could see it. All right, hold up. You see that? That mean that the, that's when the queen died. When that happened. So the queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth. Right. So they didn't tell, make the public announcement yet, but this was the announcement to the secret societies that the bitch was dead. The the palace is broken. Oh, I'm like Smokey on Friday when Debo pulled up. <laughs> Debo. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Man, this is like the uppercut. This is the uppercut right here that Debo gave. This is my bike, punk. <laughs> this is my bike. Damn, man. So this is the end. This is the end of the. Uh, this is the end, bro. Uh, of they time. Go, go back to read when this took place. This how long right. she been dead. All right. It says. Uh, let's pull it up. So I was wondering why I ain't seen her in the news in a long time. Oh, they got a fake. They got a, uh, a look alike. A possible. Yeah. You can tell she ain't her though. Yeah. <laughs> this right here is in. Uh, okay, what's the damn date on this joint? It's at the top. <laughs> okay, the top. Uh, Scroll slow. It's right under the Palace Gates Park. Yeah, it's uh 19th, 2019. The third, October 3rd, 2019. Mm -hmm. It's 16, it's 16 p.m. Man, this is crazy, man. This is Hey, y'all in the building, man. Hey, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, man. Uh, and I'm posting the brother. Uh, they like say he don't do it for money. He do it for the energy and, and you know, big mama. But I'm posting his cash app in the link if you want to get it. Uh, send the brother uh, a donation, man. I post I post it in there every like uh, five or ten minutes because y'all be doing a lot of comments. So if you uh, if you don't you don't look see at the it, comments, I'm see if we got any questions we need to ask before we end okay. this. Okay, all right. 
Hey, if anybody got any question, okay, why first two episodes free that raw? Uh, I don't know. I don't, they didn't finish it. Uh, yeah, hey, look, uh, if you got any comments for the brother Rod Haynes, uh, drop them in the chats right now, man, because, uh, you know, he went over a lot. We're going to be back on again, though. You already know, because he give us he give us a piece by piece every time, man. He give us some more shit that we can use. This right here is news you can use. News you can use. You know what I'm saying? Hey, somebody said, duh, I look. So, hey, it's, they're just saying, man, this is fire. All right, Rod, who do we contract to demand Larry who will be to be free? Us. Us. We got to come together first. Mm -hmm. It's all about our unity and the override of the old system with our system, which is oral traditions. Um, to fast track it, the big mamas, everybody got to get behind the big mama and their family. You need to find out who she is, the oldest living female in your family. And um, she got to have a team around her um, so you're going to need people that know how to manage money because you're going to have to be able to set up a family bank and be able to run the family bank. And each family got to create their own traditions for people to access the family bank so that we ain't just mm -hmm. spending money willy nilly. Mm -hmm. Right. So right now, this is the part we at in um, reclaiming because the Federal Reserve, you know, uh, Trump already closed them down with the, with D.C. closed, all that shit closed. We put the totem pole in D.C. They reclaimed that 10 square miles that's called the crime scene. Mm -hmm. Right? So we seen that, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. seen where the Pope was the one who was undermining Big Mama's jurisdiction by sitting under her throne, keeping it um, the rightful it's heir from sitting there, the Black Madonna. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So now that we know everything as above, so below, we can flip the mirrors. Now we need to know is that we need unity in the community. And remember, we ain't from no motherfucking Africa. We was already here. Mm -hmm. People did, people that came on ships wasn't us. Mm -hmm. We ain't saying that nobody come on those ships. But we said that we was already here. We organic to this land over here. This is our birthright. And the birthright is to be claimed by the senior women of the family. Once they start organizing, then they can start uh, making it known through the oral traditions between themselves first. That means all of the big mamas got to let Mother Khadija know that they ready for their shit. Mm -hmm. And it's the Nation of Islam and every one of our communities that can tell uh, Mother Khadija, now you don't have to join, but she has to know that y'all ready before she can take off. She ain't take off and leave half the big mamas behind. That means a whole lot of people not gonna get their shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One person go back to go. Go back to our own shit, oral tradition, big mama house, big mama front porch, children play in the front yard. Back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. The way it's supposed to be, not the way we want it to be. Because big mama say she had everything in the position where it runs, runs at optimum efficiency. And somebody came in and upset the balance that she set. So if we reset the balance, put the power where the power go, the machine run the way the machine's supposed to run. That's just the law of nature, the law of physics. Hey, somebody asked, uh, I don't know if they're trying to be funny. Or if they Just ask the question. I don't care if they're trying to be yeah, funny. Hey, they, they, they like, what is the purpose of this video? Purpose of this video is to inform the clans on the land that we have evicted the enemy and using the mirrors, we teaching people how to use the mirrors in order to see how this machine works so that we can reclaim what's rightfully ours. Because once you understand how the mirrors work, you can see it for yourself. You won't need me no more. 
And I hope y'all learn fast so I can get the fuck on by my business. <laughs> hey, what is the meaning of the Thunderbird? The Thunderbird is a symbol for Tahuti, okay. the chiefs on the land. All full feathered chiefs are called a Thunderbird. The thunder is represented a voice, the who, H-U. The authoritative utterance with the seer, exceptional insight. Mm -hmm. um, reference book, Ron Karinga, who see it. <clears throat> Somebody asked, is paperwork needed to, to make all this happen? Is paperwork needed? Paperwork is a paper track. The only paperwork you need is the paperwork that you keep for yourself, for your own records. You don't need to register with the corporation because they gone. Now it's about us organizing around the elder women in the family. Once we know, we start taking the steps, it should start getting easier. And we can get the imposters off the lane. Well, one person asked, and I think, we, I think he might have went over that on one of the other tapes, but uh, maybe he could just drop a little on it. He says, how can we identify the dirty moors at this time? <laughs> Everywhere righteous people congregate, they come in specifically to argue, disrupt, and start shit. It's the only way you're going to know them. When the person come with all the receipts, they're going to tell you he don't know what he's talking about. That ain't more science. But then as soon as uh, they go talk somewhere else, they're going to be telling the same stuff that the people they said was lying is telling. Mm -hmm. right? So every that's the history of them. Everywhere they go, they start mischief. They turn righteous people against righteous people. When they fight each other, they come and offer a solution for a fee. Anybody trying to get you to register anything with government in any form to put a dead government on notice is about as uh, valuable as beating a dead horse. So the Dirty Moor is going to want you to sign up for paperwork because you're actually signing up to forego your inheritance to be a slave, but you're not aware of that. So I'm telling you. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense because I noticed those same moors that be doing it, uh, they really don't teach you much. Because I, I remember a long time ago when I first started getting on the moor science, I, had, I paid all this money. And all this stuff, and then they say, "Oh, you gotta pay this money to take this class." I was like, "Man, what's so? How do I? How do this shit work? How do I, like, uh, you know, stop the cops from harassing me with tickets and all that? Oh, you gotta, you gotta pay this uh, seventy-five dollars you to come in this class. So I get in the class. They ain't talking about nothing. They just give me a whole bunch of runaround. Then, then uh, the Bible said, "Man, uh, when I asked Bible about it, right, it through the mind mail, he said, get with this dude named Taj Tariq Bay.' And then I looked him up." And I started looking at uh, what he he don't really talk about paperwork really. He just talk about the, 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 like in educating you on the word key words and key things you got to say to know your hit, know your ledge, you know, know your knowledge. And so right, uh, he, so Ty's been telling them during the life of the contract that he was living in how to navigate that contract without being trapped in the system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. dirty moors put tried to put dirt on his name but he been telling the truth the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now, how to navigate the contract is ex the contract expired. You don't have to navigate it no more. Mm -hmm. Right? So if they don't even know when the contract expired, July the 4th, 2019. Right? But I'm telling them when it expired. I'm telling them all this shit is in the public domain, but they don't know where to look. So I've been pointing shit out. But every single word, I can't point out every single reference because I would spend more time giving references that you don't know what they for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I got to break the uh, stuff down in bites and then give you the reference to the bite of information where you can go do your own investigation. But a, a lot of people don't know how to read pictures, right? So if they don't know how to read the pictures, I can show you what I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? But it don't mean you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
you know. So um, at this point, it is what it is. Hey man, uh, yeah, we're gonna get ready to close out. So, uh, but we'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start writing some of because a lot of people ask the uh, questions after we do after we close the tape out. So uh, I mean, I'm gonna write them all down. I'm, I'm writing all the ones down so that way next time we might just do a class called question and answer where we can just answer some of these questions that they be asking. Because most of the stuff he already like a lot of this stuff. If you go back and watch the three tapes that we, uh, well, the big four, I think. You go watch those four tapes. He kind of like broke down a lot of the questions that y'all asking up in them in the tape. Uh, yeah, that's another thing about our people. This is where I think Taj is like a saint to me because they keep asking the same question over and over again, getting the same answer over and over again when they can go back and watch it the last time the question was asked. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I see Taj over a fucking 25, 30 year period find himself having to give the same definition to de jure and de facto. He have to continuously tell him that the government is an imposter. He got the, cause it's the same thing over and over and over again. That's cause they thinking in a box. To think mm -hmm. outside the box is to come up with a unique question. You know, come up with a question that Todd's haven't experienced yet that might make him be able to give you more information about how to get free. Mm -hmm. Stop asking him for the definition of the word Negro. <laughs> we know what the fuck it means. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the white and black in law don't mean the same as it does in the colloquial language. So who we playing this game with, with this judicial shit, Anything judicial falls under the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And the tribe of Judah are the ones who adjudicate the system of levies and liens, which is written by Levites, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the see. ones who enforce the ruling of the tribe of Judah is the tribe of Dan, because mm -hmm. the Dan is the judgment. It's the tribe that enforces the judgment. Dan means judgment. Right? So yep. when you when you can unlock the uh, trap, you can walk free. Mm -hmm. You know? So um, the, the, the thing is, we're going to keep saying the same things over and over until the people get it. I'm not going to keep repeating it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come and tell them. Then I'm going to show them. Then they're going to have to figure it out for themselves. So what me and you is at the showing them part right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? It's mm -hmm. going to get to a point where we not going to have time to show them no more because shit going to take off in front of their face and they're going to be looking dumb. Mm -hmm. man, I'm going to tell you, man, you vet to me and... uh I'm very sincere on everything, that, like most of everything that I do. I, and uh, to me, best listen to you and the information that you putting out, you very uh, significant at this point in time on us getting on, on the, the the youth on us reclaiming everything. Like you, are, you a significant part right now to me, because uh, there's a lot of stuff that you you say that nobody really touch on. They, they, they go into like, you know, how to do the law, contracts and, you know, rules. Tosh Sharif Bay touch on a lot of stuff in his own way, but the way you, your your perspective on it is, it, it gives a, and it, it's light. Your perspective is, is, is uh, you know, it's really breaks it down to like, where a kid can listen to that shit and say, yeah, man, I know exactly what he's saying. I got it. A kid can say, I got it. That's how that's how Elijah told me to deliver the message because mm -hmm. it was more complicated mm -hmm. in the beginning because I hadn't had the pulse of the people to see they love. Well, I didn't know everybody was six years old when I started. <laughs> that ain't funny with that, man. We it's most true. of the time we looking at people, we thinking because they got face hair that he a man, or because they got children of a certain age, they a woman. Mm -hmm. But the education system teaches arrested development to be stuck at the level of a six-year-old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. This is why you have six-year-olds in other countries that's doing everything that's in our high school seniors textbook without missing the beat. Right. Right. Listen to the spelling bees. Listen to the math competitions between the children and you will see how far we behind. Mm. Right. But then you got to also examine the culture to find the anomaly in our culture as to what keeps us behind. And it ends up with the uh, with the educational system. If you want to know more about how fucked up our educational system is, type the name Charlotte. You want me to do it right now? Yeah. All right. Charlotte. Last name is Izzard B. It's C H R. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Charlotte is it what? Is it B? I S E R something. It should pop up. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it. She died. She got, she got you. Obituary. Go, yeah, she probably is dead. She was about yes. 400 years February, old. She just died on February 8, 2022. Okay, go to videos. Okay, videos, videos. Okay. R.I.P. Charlotte. Uh, every construction. Uh, so it's about education, right? Yep. Now she break down. Yeah, right here. It's right here. Part one. Miseducation about America. Yep. yep. Right here. Let me just click on it so people can see it. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go watch this too. Uh, hey, I might just... uh. Try to post this in the link. And also the people that's asking about uh the brother Rod Haynes IG, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna have that posted in the link too. I mean it's gonna be in the uh the comments. Comment. Yeah, don't look at the links because the links I have it in there, but most people never check it, so that's why I never put it in there. So just scroll down through the comments and I have it his IG in the comments. They, I think they shut down his Facebook. No, it's so, still up. Okay, it's still up. I'm got to, they say maybe you can send me the link to the Facebook too, and I post it. Okay. okay uh, yeah, this the lady now, right here, though. Yeah. So I wanted y'all to see her. She was running the educational system and tried to report what was wrong with the educational system and got shut down. Hmm. Take but she break out. down. Okay. Now, put this book in this book title in there. All right. Because they say I don't have no receipts, so I'm giving y'all references now. All right, what's the name of the book? Hold up. All right, what's the name of the book? It's called The Dumbing Down of America. Oh, shit. Is it type in? All right. If I call... Okay, let's see. Is it this right here? This one right here? Click it. Let's see. That one? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, Y'all that's one. That? Like Glenn Murray, Murray. It's another one right here, though, called... Uh, that's one of them right there for everybody that's in the building. Uh, this is another one right here by uh, James. I can't see that last name. The Clint. The Clint's it. I can't see his last name, but James R. something. The Dumbing Down America. They say on this script. The mind of the American culture. So it's a couple of them out. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a couple of them out. But that main okay. one is uh the Pull one up lies, about, right? my, lies my teacher told me. All right. Okay, that's a book too? Yep. Okay. Uh which one is that first one? Oh, uh, the one with the Christian Columbus. I don't know. That could be one of them. Okay. But it's I think it's the second book at the top, the second one. That what that's it right there. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
Hey, y'all want to get that joint right there, man. I'm gonna blow, let, me, let me blow it up for you. Let me blow it up for you, man. I'm about to get ready to get off in just a second. I got to go get my uh, get my wife. She just called me a minute ago, but I know she, uh, she probably need to jump off on that car. So I'm about to go, because uh, I got to put another battery. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put another battery. I can't get the damn trunk open today. Hey, I, 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 can do this book, I can do this book reference thing all day long, so we're going to cut that there. But that's enough to get you to understand that the educational system is designed to dumb you down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, you crack heads to, uh, once again. But every time you come on this joint, man, it's, it, I, I get I learned something new. I learned, I learned a whole, every time you come on, I learned a whole lot new stuff. <laughs> whole lot of new stuff. Because, uh, like, I knew about the totem poles, but from your perspective, you gave me another piece. And uh, I, I didn't, but I didn't know about the one that they took to uh, DC though and stuck in the ground. I ain't know about that one. That's that was that joint gave me chills when you said that joint, man. I was like, man, so this right here shit is really happening. And but we, it's like we ain't been the TV ain't saying nothing about it. The radio they still promoting uh niggas rapping and killing niggas. You know what I'm saying? They ain't told us nothing about no totem pole being stuck down in DC. Uh, now the first time I heard about the Washington DC. Well, I, I saw a couple of ads on it, but then you really made it clarify it for me. And uh, I said, damn, so they, they really gave this place up because my uh, a friend of mine lived in Maryland. He said, man, they, 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 uh, they put they boarding that place up. They boarding places up in D.C. So I was like, oh, shit, son. They boarding places up. Like, 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 like capital, like, like places where, uh, you know, where these people meet up at. And you ain't heard nothing from Joe Biden. You ain't saw him go on TV and then, and then when they do go, it's like he going from some podium they got way to call town or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's like that. That shit crazy. So look, uh, we've been watching the Senate hearings for the UFOs the last week. Mm -hmm. Look at that building and then look up the Senate hearings from the 80s, say Iran Contra. You're going to notice it's a distinctly different building. Because the state, the state building, the Senate is closed. Mm. Mm. They can't meet there, so they meeting in the studio. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing like the rag the dog shit. Yeah, moon landing and shit, like they faking the moon landing and shit. So they showed us like the, the backdrop that looks like what could appear to be real deal, but it's really like a. No, they're not even doing that. It's an it's an obviously different location. Okay, this is good. This is good stuff. This is good stuff, Rod. We got a. Hey, I think you cracked the heads. Uh, we gonna be back on though, man, because this I, I feel like uh, it's just a little. We, we covered a lot. You covered a lot on the last four takes. You covered a lot of shit. Like it's, we got like uh, maybe like about almost ten to twelve hours worth of take. So uh, that's a lot of tape right there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say this one more thing before we, before we cut right. loose. I want, I want it to be perfectly clear. I'm not anti marsh American. I'm anti-Dirty more. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah, it if you classify yeah. yourself as a Dirty more, I'm definitely against you. Because you know mm -hmm. what's going on and you're trying to keep it from the people. But right. we had to send chiefs in to claim that shit. Mm -hmm. So I can't be anti-righteous more because they had to go in and take that shit over. Right? So this is why I can tell you to listen to Taj. I can tell you to listen to C. Freeman Hill. Right? Because they telling you what you're supposed to be learning from more science. This is, everybody not supposed to teach the same thing. Right, because only the chiefs is gonna try to find out who telling the truth in order to get to the truth. Everybody else gonna pick a side and get stuck in the doctrine. Right, so I'm not anti more by a long shot. Matter of fact, some of my um, some of my best friends is more Science Temple. My brother-in-law is a GS. My brother is a former GS, right? So I'm not anti-more. I'm anti-dirty more. 
And the dirty Moors is the same motherfuckers in secret relation between blacks and Jews that's everywhere we at, but they not everywhere the pale people at. Do the math. They look like us, but they ain't us. They We call them satanic Jews. So when you hear Farrakhan talking about the satanic Jews, that's what he's talking about. Mm. You got him, man. All right, like I said, man, you in the building. Want to get ready to get out, man. But uh, we've been on for like uh, maybe like two and a half hours. That's a good enough take. And you gave me some, you gave me some more key points to go look and go in and break down. And uh, I'm gonna really get into that totem pole joint because uh, you know, Baba like like the, these books I got right here. I read these books here. They're my millennial books. And go into a lot of stuff uh that we can use up in that joint. But uh, mm-hmm. man, I mean it's mirror work, man. You can't because like I was thinking about when I was talking about mirror work, I, I was thinking about like so it's, it's the same thing that you got going on, and uh uh, but you gave me a whole nother piece to the mirrors uh, joint, man. Like you gave me to have, like another way to, to to use the mirrors. Like I, I was using it other, like a lot of other ways, like uh, spinning words, uh, doing things of that nature, and uh, that was my highest self and my lower self, things of that nature. But uh, like I say, you gave me, you you showed me because I heard that lady Arizona Wilder talking about the uh, these people how they would be using the mirrors. And uh, some of the how they be flipping numbers and uh, like killing people on certain dates, like they, they like they they were born on, on the thirty first, they kill them on the thirteenth. So it's like a, a flip, a mirror flip. Yeah, 13th. that's energy harvesting. Okay, okay, yeah. So, uh, but you just gave me some more. So my 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 uh, my skill level in the mirror work uh, just went up another couple notches, man. So. Uh, uh, Cause you gave me your perspective. I love your perspective. I love your the way you look at shit. It's like, uh, you know, I look at shit. Like, people say I be out of space with my shit, but like, say I like the way you, I like your angle. Your angle. I'm adding your perspective to mine, and now I, I'm just getting that much more powerful. You know, so that's how I look at it. The more, the more angles that I collect, uh, I need 24 perspectives to get the whole. Cause you know, in one frame of uh, camera, it's 24 frames. So you need at least 24 perspectives to me to get the picture. You know what I'm saying? So 24, uh, that's how I, 24, 24 elders. Yeah, right. 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 24,000 yeah. and some odd years in the cycles. Exactly. Right. So yeah. we're looking at the numbers. We flip the numbers. The numbers is the mirror and two and four is six. As above, so below. But the six in the sky look like a nine. And it's nine that's on right. the ground. Like a six. Flip that's called finding the balance. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Uh, man, like I say, I, I learned a lot of this right here, man. So, uh, I, I hope people in the in the uh, chat. Hey, Rob, out to everybody in the chat. I'm posting the brother. Uh, like I said, hey, do, do this for Big Mama, man. But uh, if you want to show the brother Ross Hang some love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm putting this cash app in the link. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna be on again, man. This ain't this ain't over. Big Mama telling me this ain't over. Um, it ain't over till it's over. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be back at you again, man. Sometime maybe this week or next week, we're gonna be back at you. I mean, I'm gonna be putting out, I'm gonna be dropping uh, like four lives a week. Plus, I got other tapes that I got pre recorded that I'm putting out. So, uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm glad that. Had a brother Rod Haynes on because he give me he 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 exciting. Well, I, well, I, well, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go start cracking some whips on me. I'm gonna go and pull up some other codes and uh, shit, man. Just like he gave me just like uh, just like the uh, just that you tell me about these people, these uh, Jews, and I say, man, what are these? I wanted to trace these suckers. I traced them back to France, and that's why I came out with the French connection. But now I'm gonna go and do do some research on this podium toll in D.C. It's Totem Pole in DC. Uh, I'm gonna make the connection between like the all that shit. I mean, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and snoop around at the Vatican. Man. Hey, you go, you're breaking uh, up kind of bad, uh, uh, Elder. Yeah, uh, uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get a, a new internet and a new type of. Uh, it sounds like yeah. your microphone got a short end. No, I ain't got no mic. It's actually my laptop. I think I might get another. It's a microphone in the laptop. It could be clogged up too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna look into it. All right, well, I'm about to get off, man. Uh, I'm about to get off, man. So uh, I gotta go tell my wife something before. Uh, if in like the next, I gotta be. She get off at five, so I'm gonna be up there in the next twenty minutes. Get up, uh, and uh, I, tomorrow I'll just, uh, I'm gonna fix it tomorrow. Well, I'll be on Brother Rich three six three tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be on that joint. You already know. What you going to talk about? Well, you probably can't reveal what you're going to do titles. Or are you going to be random? Uh, he got something scheduled. I'm going to see what he got scheduled. Yeah, I'm going to be on that. What time? Uh, I think 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. I'll be right at the field of chilling. All right. All right. All right. Hey, uh, thank you, Brother Rod Haynes. Uh, man, Hotel Peace. I should. Divine love throughout the balance universe to all. Appreciate you, young elder. All right, peace. I'm right, peace. All right. Okay, I gotta stop sharing my screen. It's going to close up. Do that.